well, here we go. Here's a surprise. I stumbled across this inlet. This comes off the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, I, I don't know. I'll find out what this is. May have sign up here probably says it. But it's really cool. Look at this. Little docks, private docks along the way. Uh, now, let me see. We'll find out what the name of this place is. Oh, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. People live right off the water here. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. I mean, this is just a great thing to do. Can you imagine doing this for uh, three or four days a week up, up Florida, up the west coast of Florida. And that's what we're going to be doing with the Richard Owen Veteran Memorial Ride. I pretty much decided it's going to be May 15th, up, starting at Mel's Trail, downtown St. Petersburg, which coincidentally happens to be right next to the Chance Center. Uh, where we do, whoa, up a hill here, where we do work for viral hepatitis. B and C, treat people for it. And my organization, Suncoast Hep C Friends, is patient advocate. And uh, one of our first events is going to be that this ride we're going to go on. Everyone's invited. Public welcome. Several people already on the ride. There's some riders up here off the left. Yeah, we get by them. Anyway, we're going to go to Tallahassee, enjoy the scenery, everything that goes along the way, all the people we meet as we go down the road. Hi. And uh, hopefully raise awareness viral hepatitis in America among veterans. And uh, my brother, Rick. God rest. Died in 2007 from liver cancer. He was diagnosed with hepatitis C a couple of years. You know, I think if he'd have been told this six, eight years earlier by the VA, he could have gone under treatment, and maybe he wouldn't have ended up with liver cancer. I don't know. There's a lot of ifs there, but hey, if we can help one veteran not reach that point because he got tested and treated and we've done our job and Rick's done his job so this is the Richard Owen Veteran Memorial Ride on May 15th 2011 thank you